back to CVM at Sunrise. Now, World Obesity Today is an annual campaign established first in 2015 by the World Obesity Federation, the WOF. This year's theme is Treat Obesity Now and Avoid the Consequences Later. Now, the WHO recognizes that obesity has reached epidemic proportions globally and people, about 2.8 million people, die each year as a result of being overweight or obese. In studio with us to give us further details are Mrs. Deborah Chen, Executive Director of the Heart Foundation of Jamaica, and Mrs. Frances Mufood, who is a nutritionist uh, also at the Heart Foundation of Jamaica. Welcome back, ladies. Thank you so much for having us. I'm going to go straight to the items that you have brought with you yes. um, on the table. Mm -hmm. And firstly, the bags of actual sugar mm -hmm. to show the relationship between when we have our typical bottle of soda, right, right, how much sugar, in fact, we are consuming. Yes. So, um, in terms of weight loss, an excellent interview that you just had. It, it, it's multifactorial, but one of the main things is the, the drink that we consume all day long. Because whereas you might have a, a little piece of chocolate or a piece of cake here and there, which of course have sugar in it, the fact is that we consume beverage all day long. We have to drink so many liters of fluid a day so as not to get dehydrated. Yes. But if every single time for you're going to have your drink, whatever it is, coffee, tea, whatever, it is a sugar with sweetened beverage to, to a greater extent, then you can only imagine what is happening a day. So let us start by saying that each day, men are, the recommended allowance for, for health is 90 spoons of sugar a day, and for a woman it's six. So let us go to this. This is just an, a, a no-name bottle, you know, average size bottle. Mm -hmm. But if every single time this is a soft drink, or one of the, the sweetened beverages, then you are having 12 teaspoons of sugar in this. And remember we said um, nine for men yeah. and, and six a day. Not just the one drink that you have, but some of the tin stuff having sugar. You may have a little sugar in your tea, which, which is fine, you know. Yeah. You may have another, um, some other thing in your plate that has sugar. But all told, it's supposed to be nine or six. For the entire for, 24 For the entire hours. 24 hours. And if, if, if you drink one of this, you have surpassed it. And if you don't have the physical activity on the other end to, to counterbalance it, as, as your previous guest was saying, then that's a problem. So if you drink one a day, it's a problem. And you can imagine if you drink several. Now, if every single time for the day, when you put something to your mouth to drink it, it is one of the sugary sweetened beverages or something you make yourself with, with excess sugar, but in terms of what we can quantify because of labels and so on, yes. then a two liter of, of that, based on the labels, it's 52 teaspoons of sugar you'd have gone for the day. So if every time you drink it's, you know, it, it's one of the sugary sweetened beverages, then it is 52. And we need to learn to read labels. I really, it's one of the main things I'd like to get across. If people leave here with one message, it is four grams of sugar in one teaspoon. So you can look at the label on the back of the package. You can see how many grams of sugar, but then look at the top of the label and see how many servings. Because remember that it will say at the top three servings, four servings. Wow, because even when Mrs. Mafood it says that, yes. a lot of times we are consuming all of the contents of whatever that product is in one sitting, even when the label says three servings. Correct. So that compounds it, doesn't yes. it? And then of course you'll see total carbohydrates and all carbohydrates convert yeah. eventually to sugar. So this is what we need to be aware of in a meal. And you know, um, as Deborah said, it's multifactorial. And as a nutritionist at Heart Foundation, I'm there to help the clients individually, one at a time, develop the skills to combat overweight or obesity because of the risk factors involved, you know? And obesity and high blood pressure, very, very correlated. And I find the clients who are losing the weight slowly have um, seen a difference in their high blood pressure um, mm -hmm. levels. So it's, it's not one of those things where you have to wait so long because sometimes people are trying, but when they are unable to measure the results, then yeah. they say, well, what's the point? Diet, it means a way of life. It's from the Latin word dieta, way of life. Yes. And I just teach them a healthy lifestyle I'm there daily trying to develop menus, affordable menus, because this is another problem. Social and economic um, issues 
um, come into play, you know. So this is where, and I concentrate on foods that are healthy. So you can have a skinny individual like you, but it's a misconception that you may be healthy. Mm -hmm. So it's the quality of the food you eat also that matters. It's not the size of the shirt or the Correct. size in the label that you should Correct. watch. So it's when it, the other numbers. So when it comes to processed and refined foods like sugar, your body absorbs it very quickly. You get a slump and you're hungry again. It only satisfies you for a short period. So you want foods that take a long time for absorption. Fruits and vegetables, wholesome foods. Um, vegetables especially, I'm stressing that with children. So the nutrient value of these foods help us with better health and better growth. Let balance. Me, we need balance in our lives. We don't have balance. Let me ask, when you see, as you had intimated earlier, ladies, the school gate yes. offering what our children mm -hmm. are likely consuming throughout the day mm -hmm. for lunch, yes. especially while in school, what triggers come to mind? Well, it's not even at the gate, it's actually in the school canteen. You know, and I think one of the things that we need yes. um, is policy. We need some policy by the Ministry of Education as to what is allowed to be sold in and around schools so that we can ensure that our children don't get obese and then suffer from these um, effects that Mrs. Mahfoud mentioned yes. later. The last survey that was done, approximately 30% of our children were overweight already. So you can only imagine when they get to adulthood what that is going to happen. Mm -hmm. So um, yes, it, it needs to be looked at. We need proper, we need proper labels. There's stuff in uh, the school gate and in schools that are not even labeled. There's some bad juices. There's nothing on them to, to even indicate. So even if you were to say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an effort at this now. I'm gonna read my labels and decide where I'm gonna get my sugar from, you know, in my allowance. But then you go somewhere and there's not labels on everything, so you really can't tell. But definitely our children are our biggest concern at this time in terms of the future generation. Right. Now, in addition to watching the amount of sugar that comes in, mm -hmm. is the next best friend, the fats that go right. along with that. <laughs> now, um, I, I liked the fact, Mrs. Mufu, that you said you try to design with your clients affordable options yes. because it appears cheaper to snack than it is to have a nutritious diet? Let me tell you, healthy fats are in. We need to eat healthy fats. Our bodies need them. They have a function. Yes. Healthy fats, whatever is in season, avocado, pear, ackee, our oil, vegetable oils, our coconut oil, all healthy fats. But for an obese or overweight person, it's portioned. I don't allow it unlimited. So healthy is not synonymous with eat as much as you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So portion control is very important. What I've taught and a great skill is planning. Planning for your children, guardians and parents, plan for your children a weekly menu. Know what you're feeding them because if you don't know, you're going to buy the convenient food or the packaged food, the processed food. You don't understand the label. You think because you see no cholesterol, it's great for them. We have sugar sweetened powdered milks, sugar sweetened beverages. Sugar is in almost everything that's packaged. Yeah. It's a stabilizer. So we need to be aware of this. Eat more foods that don't have a label. So those are your wholesome foods closer to nature, more plant-based. Right. And eat what's in season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Callaloo is in season now, so eat and it. The, the, my takeaway today, as yes. we close the segment, is the visible yes. impact of the actual sugar, the quantity mm -hmm. that's linked to the bottles. We know only too well what's mm -hmm. usually bottled in them that mm -hmm. we consume throughout the day. Let me say thanks to the lovely ladies from the Heart Foundation. Um, it's both scary and stimulating, but important information yes. that you're shared with us yes. yet again. Mm -hmm. And we look forward to having you on other occasions. Thank you. Thank you. We go to the break. It's time for CVM Live Morning Edition with Whitney Levy. Supermodel, but you love no more. I can't put a value. I say you're right.